Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. Alright, so today we're going to be retouching this image live here on YouTube. Yeah, everything live here and we're going to see how much we'll be able to do. Of course, we're going to be working with our action like you've always had me say. So if you need access to the action, just you know what to do. Join our WhatsApp community by clicking on the WhatsApp link in the description of the video all right so let's get started the first thing i'm going to be taking care of is the blenishes yeah that's quite a lot of it so we'll just pick up our patch tool i think that's the fastest one we can use make a duplicate of my background layer and just start fixing it so just start patching just like the name implies so yeah like that so what will happen is I'm going to fast forward this video at this point. So I wouldn't waste your time doing this. Yeah. So just see you when I'm done with the blemishes. All right, so our blemishes are almost all done. Let me show you the before and the after. This is the before here. Yeah? This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. I think this is one of the most uh, intensive blemishes I've removed so far. Yeah, look at that. The before and the after. So the rest, we can fix that using our uh, frequency separation. So to move forward, we'll go straight to our frequency separation. And we're going to play our frequency separation action looking at it over here. So I'm going to be working with somewhere around four or five. So let me see how this handles the skin. Five wouldn't be a bad place to stay. So let's just do five. Press enter. We are good to go. So our, our setup is done. We'll just go to our low frequency, pick up our mixer brush tool. You can decide to turn off your high frequency so you can see exactly what you are doing. So I'll just focus on smoothening the scheme in my low frequency, knowing fully where that my high frequency is properly protected. So we'll just keep going like this. Look at this area, slightly like this. Beautiful. So we'll go up again. Look at this area here. Okay, look at the forehead. Come here. So also you will notice that I'm following the shape of each of the areas. Look at that area. I'm not painting straight. I'm painting from this angle because I wouldn't want to lose that shadow right there. The moment you start losing those structures, the image will start looking unrealistic. So you have to have that in mind while you are doing your own painting to maintain the dimensions of the lightning so that you don't end up getting a flat image at the end of your retouching. right so look at that color bone uh, to make it look good all right so we'll turn on our high frequency now to see the much we've done so this was the image you before this is after, this is the before, this is the after. So looking at it now, there are a whole lot of skin irregularities that I want to fix. So I'll just pick up my clone stamp, staying on my high frequency, and just clean those areas. Look at that, yeah. All these tiny, tiny blemishes here and there, we'll just fix them. Or we'll move over to the next one. Because we we'll still need to soften out the skin. It's still looking very rough and unkept. 
Okay, so once this is done, I'm going to collapse this frequency separation, run another one, but this time around, I'm going to keep this one at four. And once that is done running, I'm going to open it up, go to my low frequency, right click and convert it to a smart object. Then now I can go to my filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur, and I'll just be increasing it until I get the kind of soft skin I want to have on the image at the end of the day. Okay, so I think I like what 12 is doing. I press Ctrl I to invert that, staying on my uh, smart filter, pick up my brush and just start painting over the skin. So to give us that extra softness on her skin. All right. Come down to the body. Okay, so we are good. This is too much over here. So I'm going to uh, generally drop down the capacity of the second frequency separation just a little then i'll flatten it up together then i'll first of all i'll quickly run my dodge and burn just a very quick one my d and b pick up my brush i'll paint in with three on my flow then i'll just quickly paint over the image using my dodge first of all this area very very important something over here on the nose or over the nose Look at that forehead lightening, so we'll just connect it to the nose to keep it that to keep it together. Look at the cheekbone, the collarbone, rather. Neck bones and all of that. So there was a highlight here that we missed, so we need to get it back. Can even drag it down a bit. Look at that of the breast area. Pull it up. Pull it up. Very good. So we'll quickly go over to our bone. Repeat the same pattern in the opposite direction. I'll like just around like this okay so over the nose just do a very tiny one over there then make this area very dark since our light is flowing from left to right this can even get slightly darker very good so for the body area we'll make some areas dark all right so we need to group these two together this is what we've done this is the before, this is the after. Just a very quick dimension restoration. The before, the after, the before, the after. Yeah, of course, this is too much, so I'm going to bring it down. Match it up together and I'll quickly apply my color grading. And we are done. So I'm going to load up my color lookup that I'm going to be using on this one. Yeah, so this is the color grade I'm going to be using, but I need it just on the skin. So staying on my mask, I'll just go to my select, go to color range. And I have my skin selected already. I'll press enter. So because the skin and the background has a very similarity in color, that's why you are seeing it. So I'll just minus it from the background. And we are good. Yeah, this is too much. It's slightly too reddish. And I think I need to lighten up the image a little. So I'll just write her up a bit and we are good to go. So this is the before, this is the after, the before, the after. So we'll just bring it down a little. So the last thing we are going to be doing is to quickly apply our done for you retouch action on this image just to bring everything together. So I'm going to run my done for you. Keep it at three or four, then press enter. Yeah, so the job is done, but this is too much. The before, the after. So we'll drop it very low. Yeah before after before after and that is how you do it my friend so let me show you a very quick overall before and after of everything we have done right here in photoshop so this was the original image this is the retouched image this is the original image this is the retouched image thank you so much for watching make sure you, you follow the video step by step to learn everything we did and also uh subscribe to our youtube channel when you subscribe also do make sure you turn on your notification bell so that whenever I drop a new video, you will not get to miss it. Thank you so much. See you on the next one.